Well, now that you have a clearer idea of what's involved in the purchase of a property in the UK, naturally you'll want to know the costs involved. Well, they depend on the property and include solicitor's fees, local search fees, 12-month building insurance, and the registration fee for UK land registry. A 3% stamp duty transfer fee is now payable to the government on all properties. You can gain exemption if you don't own another, but you'll have to state that on the agreement. This is in addition to the purchase costs I mentioned earlier. For a property of £60,000, stamp duty, if payable, is £1,800. As you would expect, an investment property does involve ongoing running costs. You will also need to keep the property insured. Usually all bills, including council tax and utilities, are the responsibility of the tenant. These include council tax, gas, water, electric, phone, internet, or any other utilities the tenant may use. Rental payments can be made into overseas accounts, usually on a quarterly basis. Later, once the property has been acquired, some owners open a non-resident UK account. Some also open a sterling currency account with their own overseas bank. However, under new rules, a UK bank account cannot be opened if you're not a UK resident. Property is always priced in pounds sterling. While payments can be made in any currency and converted into sterling, payments into client accounts are always in sterling. If you have any other questions or require more information, have us call you.